Howdy, folks. You'll be mighty glad to hear, I reckon, that the makers of Grape Nut Flakes, that's America's most famous cereal in flake form, are going to bring you America's most famous cowboy. Hard-riding, hard-hitting, hard-to-beat, everybody's favorite, Buck Jones. Well, folks, we're all plum tickled to be on this program because we know you're going to enjoy it. And we know, too, that you're going to enjoy Grape Nut Flakes. We're all loco about Grape Nuts Flakes because, well, you see, men who ride the trails all day want real chow, he-man's food, and that's Grape Nuts Flakes. Good to eat and mighty good for you. Now, I know you all want the story to get a rolling, but before we start, Buck Jones has a few words for you. Buck has been riding high, white, and handsome over a heap of trails since he was no higher than a snubbing post. You've seen him lots of times in those moving pictures of his with his horse silver, red-blooded stories with plenty of action. And hoofbeats is the same kind of a story. Oh, but pull up now. Here's Buck. Whoa, whoa, steady, Silver. Howdy, partners. Silver, you know, is my horse. I never appear without him. I'm mighty glad to have a chance to chin with you for a minute before hoofbeats begin. I just want to tell you that I'm right certain we're going to be real pals. We're interested in outdoor exercises and clean living, sticking up for the underdogs, aren't we? Well, since we feel that way about it, I thought it'd be a good idea if we got up a club. Now, after the first chapter in our story, suppose we talk it over, you know, man to man. What do you say? Until then, partners, I'll be looking out for you. Through funnel and dust and blazing sun, the great trail herd bearing a strange road brand is seen shuffling through the green and gold foothills of Colorado. The scrawniest lot of cattle ever seen on the old Indian trail. Weeks they've plotted like this, on and on to the monotonous clack of hoofs and the rattle of horns. The impatient shouts of men, gaunt, dust takes raw nerve men who continually urge the cattle on and watch that strip of trail behind. For more than tracks have been left back there. And Texas justice is swift and sure. Hold him up, Red River. Hold him up. Keep rolling. What do you think we're driving, Mustangs? We're rolling to death, Gore. Why, they're nothing but living skeletons. Well, they're living. Our buyers won't kick on their condition. We'll land these coasts. Don't be too sore, Gore. Look. See them mountains bunkling up? Yeah. That's a hideout ring. The toughest stretch of country on any trail. Blind washes, quicksand. More work for the men. Yeah, they spend more time working cattle and less watching the back trail. Well, it's not easy to keep your eyes off the back trail when any minute it may be filled with Texans raring to stretch our necks. Hey, you give me the creep. Yeah? Well, we all got them. There won't be no forgetting till we unload this herd. Shut up, you. Now, we're all in this together. And we've got to... Hey, what are you looking at, Red River? Back there. A rider on the trail. Where? I can't see anything. Wait. There's up to the drag hiding him now. There he comes. Up around the chuck wagon. A rider on a dapple gray. Yeah, I see him. One man. Likely some cowhand looking for stock. Cowhands don't ride horses like that. He's traveling through. Hey, I don't like the way he's giving this house. It's a one so. You keep the herd rolling. I'll ride back and see what he's up to. All right. Howdy, stranger. Howdy. Well, what do you think of the layout? Now you've sized it up. Funny trail brand, that. Don't think I ever saw it before. Kind of looks like Maybe the... that's why it strikes you as funny. Maybe. Looks like you've been driving that herd mighty hard. Yeah. Season's late. Snow comes early in the passes ahead. Some horse you got there. One in a million. Well, a good horse is a fine thing when you're traveling. A good horse is a fine thing anytime. Yeah, I reckon. Travel far? Quite a stretch. Which way are you head? North. Wyoming? Maybe. And you? Maybe too. Well, I won't be holding you. Hey, blast that swing driver. What's he coming back here for? Uh, well, what's the matter now, Red River? Hang up on it. We got to stop, Gore. They're all in. We're too short handed to force them. Now, what right have you got to try to tell me how to run? boys in a jam? We sure are. More cows than seven men can handle. Well, if I can be of any help, I'll trail along with you. That is till our trail's part. Well, now, that's mighty white of you. Glad to do it come a long ways alone and some fed up on my own society. We don't need any help. And we ain't a sociable out. Oh, I see. Well, now then hold I'll... hold on, stranger. We do need help. And if you'll give us a hand... Now, here, Red River. Be here yourself, Gore. Every man has exactly as much interest in this herd as you have. 
Uh, what's your name, stranger? Oh, call me Buck. All right, Buck. You strike me as a man who have his stock, so just pitch in. Come on, Gore. Maybe we can straighten them leaders out and get the herd moving again. Hey, what do you mean? Thinking we can hire men like a regular officer. You don't know who that hombre is. Well, we got to risk that. Anything to make time. Just the same I don't like. I don't like that hombre. What don't you like about it? The way he looks through a man, like he's searching for something. And there's something mighty mysterious about it. Says he's heading north. And he wouldn't say where. Maybe he didn't think it was important. I got the idea it was plenty important. Yet he jumps at the chance to poke along with us. You know, there are men, Gore, who'll step out of their way to accommodate. But it ain't accommodation with him. He's got something else. Whoa! 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 Blast those thorn bushes. Tear the shirt off a man. Well, now what you're gawking at? That mark on your shoulder. Looks like a dagger here. Well, lots of men have birthmarks. Gore, mark like that dagger here is a dangerous thing for a man in your boot. You leave that to me. But about this arm, I like I like the straight way he talks. Open as a day. And yet... Well, say it. Like you say, there is something about him. Something dangerous as them guns he's took. I'd say he must have run up against something almighty hard. He'll run up against something almighty hard if we lose this race. He'll swing as high as any of us. Them Texans won't stop to ask, was he with us back Blue there? Mud, I never thought of that. Uh, and if he makes one crooked move here, well, 2,000 cows can tromp a grave so deep it'll never be found. Come on, let's get going. Mighty unsociable outfit, too. You'd think they'd talk to a fella after a hard day's ride, wouldn't you? Quiet. I want to listen. Quiet, Silver. Quiet. Quit stomping. Dollars to donuts, that's Red River. He sure can sing. your song. Oh, yeah? Well, I got to make some sort of a noise, Buck. Kind of keeps the cattle quiet. Oh, you don't have to apologize for it. I'm wondering if that's where you got your name from that song. I reckon. That supper? Yeah. Get plenty to eat? Sure, and then some. Say, what's the matter with this outfit anyway, Red River? How do you mean? Well, the men shy off of me like I'm poison. I asked a big fella drop a civil question, he... Almost snapped my head off. Well, they're a surly lot, Buck. Wolves, every one of them, including me. Oh, I'd hardly call you a wolf, Red River. But I am, Buck. Make no mistake about that. And we're a good outfit to stay away from. That's why I rode in. I want to talk to you. Buck, I'd feel better if you'd climb on your horse and sort of drift along. You mean that? I sure do. Well, then what made you change your mind? You was mighty anxious to have me join up with you today. Can't go into that. But there's reasons. Yeah? Gore? Well, that's one. He don't like you, Buck, and he's bad medicine. But there's more to it than just him. I'd rather you drift. It, it's dangerous. For me, you mean? Mostly. But you said you was in the jam and needed help. Well, I guess I do. Well, but... then don't let danger worry you. I'm sticking. Well, I can't run you off. Guess I'd better get back to the cattle. Well, wait till I send you up and I'll ride with you, Red River. Buck, I knew you was the kind of stick, but I'd hate to see you get into trouble about through me. You, uh, you must have guessed everything wasn't right with us. Oh, that's none of my business. You us are what we seem to be on the surface. You, for instance, you don't fit with the rest of this outfit. Yeah? Yeah, and I've got a hunch that song means something to you, too, Red River. Something special. It does. I used to sing it to Ann, my wife. Your wife? She's dead. Oh, I'm sorry, partner, if I touched on oh, something... Oh, that's all right. You've been dead ten years now. But I... Well, I still sing to her. And sometimes on nights like this, I kind of feel that she's listening. It's foolish, I reckon. Oh, I don't think so. I guess you're right, Buck, about few of us being what we seem on the surface. Now, take me underneath. I'm pretty soft. Well, the most of us are. I know I am, and yet, 
When it comes right down to it, well, you've likely guessed, Red River. I'm not just a stranger riding through. Yeah. I'd say he's on the trail or something. A man, maybe. Three men. Red River and this gun are three bullets, each stained with the blood of my dearest kin. Each marked for a target. I'm hunting in town, camp, or trail of the wide west over. A left-handed coyote whose eyes don't track. A man whose left shoulder bears a mark of a dagger hilt. What? You heard what I said. A man whose left shoulder bears a mark of a dagger hilt. And another umbry I'm going to find if it takes the last drop of my... The mark of the dagger hilt, and Gore bears this sinister mark. Is Gore the man Bucky's searching for? Well, Bucky's right here, folks, and he's got some mighty interesting news for you. Go ahead, Buck. Well, partners, I'll tell you what I was thinking about. I hope all you boys and girls and I are going to be more to each other than just, uh, well, a radio program and an audience. I want to feel that we're all pulling together for the things we believe in. And having a heap of good times, too. So I thought we'd be a little closer. Friends, if we had a sort of a club. Which we might call, well, say, uh, a Buck Jones club. If it suits you all right. It's a club that doesn't have any club dues and, or bills or fancy fiction. It's just for those of us who believe in clean living, outdoor exercise, and seeing that the underdog gets a chance. Now, if you feel that way about things, do this for me, will you? Sit right down now and drop me a line, a letter, saying, Buck, I am with you, and I want to join up with your club. Send your name and address with one red top from a box of grape nut flakes to Buck Jones in care of the station you're now listening, and I'll send you a pen. I know you'll be mighty proud of. It's your Buck Jones Club membership badge, and it's a good-looking gold and red pen with my picture on it, too. And when you wear this pen, everybody will know that you're all for the ideals of the Buck Jones stand for. And when I send you the pin, I'm also going to send you a club manual telling you about all the free prizes you can get. So, partners, let me know right away if you'd like to join the Buck Jones Club. Let me see how many members we can kind of get together before the next meeting. And remember, get plenty of fresh air and exercise, lots of sleep, and eat good wholesome food like great nut plates, and save those box tops. They mean prizes for you. Well, so we meet again... I'll be looking out for you. And so Buck Jones rides into the sunset, but his trail and yours will cross again soon. Book Beats is brought to you by the makers of Grape Nut Flakes, America's foremost cereal in flake form. Get a box of Grape Nut Flakes today. And remember this, to get your Buck Jones Club membership in, just send one red top from a box of Grape Nut Flakes with your name and address to Buck Jones in care of this station. This offer is good in United States only. Don't miss the next episode of Hoofbeat, starring Buck Jones. It's packed with thrills. So until the next time, this is your old friend, the Wrangler. Uh-huh.